truck is not electric. You can hear that V8 rumbling. And no, there's no real reason for me to be showing you this truck other than the fact that I wanted to pay homage to the original Ford Lightning and uh, get the opportunity to drive a really cool truck to give a little bit of context for the electric Ford Lightning that we're gonna be testing later in this video. First introduced in 1993, the Ford SVT Lightning was a high performance version of the F-150. This sport truck featured a 5.8 liter Windsor V8, making 240 horsepower and 340 pound-feet of torque. The Lightning shared the same chassis as the standard F-150 model, but the Lightning had extensive frame modifications and stiffer, lowered suspension to help with the extra power. The 1993 Ford Lightning would do 0 to 60 in 7.2 seconds. Enter the Ford Lightning Pro. It's Ford's first ever all-electric pickup truck. This Pro model has a standard battery of 98 kilowatt hours and a claim range of 230 miles. Most importantly, this truck has 452 horsepower and 775 pound-feet of torque. Yeah, I'm gonna test that part first. I'm gonna toggle this thing into sport mode real quick. Make sure we've got clear runway here and do an acceleration test. <laughs> oh, I wish you guys could feel that. This thing has so much acceleration. That has got to be the fastest accelerating pickup truck that I've driven to this point. It's uh, really impressive, really impressive. This truck will do zero to 60 in under five seconds. And that is over two seconds faster than that V8 sport truck that I had earlier in the video when it was brand new. So yeah, pretty impressive for sure. Especially when you consider that this is just like a tradesman's truck. But before we get too far into this, I wanna give a big thanks to Columbine Ford in Rifle, Colorado. They've given me this truck for an extended amount of time and I really appreciate it because I'm having a lot of fun with it, if you can't tell. As you know, this is primarily a two-wheel channel, but we're gearheads through and through, love vehicles, love trucks especially because we're hauling bikes a lot. And that is the perspective that I want to take with this truck here because specifically with electric motorcycles, aside from this awesome acceleration, it also has some big perks for charging electric bikes, but we'll get into that later. Let's talk about the truck a little bit more first. This is the Pro model, which means it's the most basic version of the Ford Lightning. But calling it basic may be a bit of an understatement. Yes, it's got manual vinyl seats. Yes, it's got plastic floor and some other plastic odds and ends, things that you wouldn't find in some of the higher trim levels of this truck, but it is surprisingly well equipped. It has a lot of features, a lot of creature comforts, and way more than any base model truck that I've personally ever been in. It's got a 15 inch monitor and entertainment system, navigation, 360 degree camera, parking sensors, dual climate control, selectable power modes, locking differentials, lane assist, Bluetooth with Apple CarPlay, power outlets, LED lights, automatic brights that turn with the steering wheel, keyless entry, and the list goes on and on. All of those features make for a super nice truck inside, and it's unbelievably quiet and comfortable. It's almost so comfortable that it's boring to drive. You expect a truck to have a little bit of a rough ride, and this truck just really doesn't have that. It's got independent suspension on all four corners, a super low center of gravity. It's really nice to drive, but it definitely lacks a little bit of soul. Let's not forget the power specs though. If you do get a little bit bored, all you have to do is just bury that right foot. <laughs> and yes, it's fun again. 
but you guys are probably here for a reason beyond this truck's drivability, and that is what this truck can offer in terms of utilizing itself as a generator. This Lightning is spec with Pro Power, which means it has 9.6 kilowatts of onboard power and tons of outlets. It even has outlets in the frunk. That's right, I said the frunk. All you gotta do here is click a button, and this will release the frunk. Now inside the frunk here, you have four 110 outlets and USB-C and USB-A plugs. Moving on to the back, even more exciting, you've got more 110 outlets, four to be exact, but the big one is this 220 outlet right here. Pretty big deal. Tons of power outlets. You also have two inside of the truck. So once you've decided what you want to charge, you just go to features here, click pro power on board, and then this will pull up a overlay of the truck and you can select the front option here for the frunk and that will give you 2400 watts of charging capability. Or you go to the back here and the bed of the truck will offer you uh, two options there, both 3,600 watts, totaling 7,200 watts of charging capability. You can also utilize the two chargers that are inside, so pretty impressive stuff there. So now that we've talked about draining the battery on this Ford Lightning, let's talk about charging it. This truck runs on the 400 volt architecture and it comes standard with DC fast charging up to 150 kilowatts max. And Ford claims that you can charge this battery from 15% to 80% in 40 minutes. I have done some real world testing on that using a DC fast charger. Uh, the only problem is the charger says that it will put up 150 kilowatts, but it never really does. Maximum it seemed to put out was 100 kilowatts throughout my charge, mostly staying in that 50 kilowatt range. And with that, I was able to charge the truck from 50% to 90% in roughly 38 minutes. So I think that's probably more accurate real world results there. If you're running 220, it's gonna take a bit longer, like a level two charge station, you know, you're looking at probably roughly, I don't know, 12 to 14 hours to charge this thing from 10, 15% up to 100%. And if you have one installed at your home, a 220 volt charger, which I think is the best option, if you get home at the end of the day and you need to charge your truck up, just plug it in, leave it overnight. By the time you're ready to go in the morning, the truck's probably gonna be fully charged. If you like painfully waiting around to charge your, your truck, you can also use 110. It'll come with an adapter to do that, but uh, dare I say it will take days likely to charge it via that method. So uh, probably not your best option unless you really like sitting around or you have just time on your side, but uh, if you're trying to charge this thing fast, those are the scenarios and the outcomes that I have experienced while testing this truck. So I think a big problem with electric vehicles in general is that people always want to compare these to gas vehicles and then talk about why they're inferior. But while you can draw a lot of comparisons, it's not really fair because this is a specific vehicle for a specific type of person. Are you somebody that tows a trailer or a camper regularly? Then don't buy this truck. You should expect approximately 50% reduction in range when you're pulling a trailer or camper with this. And so unless you like spending a lot of time at charge stations, it's probably not the truck for you. Where I've seen this truck do its best is running around town because you're very light on the accelerator. You are able to regen a ton when you're coming to a stop. You're just not really taxing the battery too hard. It took me well over a week to even get it to 50%. And uh, that's with me being hard on the accelerator too. I wanna feel that acceleration of this truck. I take most opportunities to put my foot into this thing. And uh, even still, it's pretty damn good on range. 
The 2023 price increase will bring this truck up to about $50,000. And for like the, the top level trim model, which I think was around $92,000, is gonna be up more towards that six figure range of $100,000. So uh, expect the price to go up. But despite that, I think for this base model, it's a really good value. I would be harder pressed to convince anybody to buy a six figure truck. That's a lot of money for a pickup truck, especially one that you're limited by. So that's why I think this truck, this pro model, this base model makes a lot of sense because you get all of these great creature comforts. You get a really good option for charging with the upgraded battery pro power. And it really makes this truck a great value for under $50,000. I know it's a lot of money, but when you compare it to what trucks just cost these days, it's actually a really good value. I've been driving this truck around for the better part of the last month, and I am super impressed with this thing. I've been using it to haul bikes, to run around town, uh, bring my daughter to school, all the normal scenarios that you would use a vehicle for, and it has done an outstanding job in all of those scenarios. So would I want to own this truck after driving it for the last month? The answer is yes, I would love to own this truck. I want to do some more kind of real world testing when it comes to charging bikes and using the truck as the generator. Yeah, stay tuned if you're interested in that type of thing because we're gonna post that next. Also, do you like seeing four wheels on this two wheel channel? If you do, let me know what you think. If you wanna see more, what do you wanna see? And we'll see if we can make it happen. Thank you to Columbine Ford for giving me this truck for a while. And thank you guys for watching and see you next time.